Hello, welcome to another short video with uh, Explore with Michael. Today I have the good fortune of being in Granada and behind me we have the Alhambra Palace which is uh, the jewel in the crown of uh, Muslim Spain. The Muslims came to uh, Spain in the 700s and uh, they were expelled in the 1490s. The, uh, the Granada was the last city to fall and uh, it fell under King Ferdinand and uh, Queen Isabella. Um, now, in fact, uh, initially when the, uh, when the Muslims surrendered, they were told that they would be allowed to practice their faith as before and there would be no religious persecution. But this didn't last very long. The Jews uh, in the peninsula had never thrived under the Spanish people here. And in fact, when the Muslims came, uh, they were given religious freedom and they thrived under the, uh, the Muslim ownership. Um, however, shortly after the conquest by King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella, um, Jewish people were forced to convert uh, and laterally Muslims, the same thing happened to Muslims. Um, but their uh, forced conversion is never the way. Uh, and in fact, the Holy Quran, after the ayat of the throne, which is the, the verse of the throne, there is followed by another ver uh, verse. La ikraha fidini. There is no compulsion in religion. People have to make up their own minds. So the conversion of the Jewish and the Muslim people wasn't genuine in many cases. And um, people would rattle them and they would tell the powers that be uh, that they suspected that these people were secretly practicing their religion. And in many cases they were. In fact, the Muslims, they had fatwas from North African ulama telling them that they could uh, practice their religion in their secret. Uh, However, initially it was the Jewish people who suffered mostly. And um, somebody would, uh, you know, not putting a fire on on a Saturday, somebody would report them as they, they were secretly practicing the, um, the Sabbath. And the accuser would, it wouldn't be known to the accused. And uh, they would be tortured. And I'm actually in the, um, the museum of the Inquisition here and they have all of the various forms of torture. And it is, I feel a little bit shaken actually after seeing a lot of it really. Um, and then of course the, you know, in many instances the accused would be burnt alive. Um, so anyway, there, there we have it. Um, the, the Muslims in Spain, they converted and the Jewish people converted. Um, but, it, you know, with the Muslim people, eventually the persecution was so much that there was a rising and they rose up and, um, you know, they were all killed effectively. Uh, the Jews and the Muslims, they fled to North Africa. And uh, the Jews, um, they went to North Africa and Turkey and other European uh, countries. Um, in North Africa, you know, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And the uh, Muslims who'd been expelled, they wanted to recap, they recoup their losses. And uh, they resorted to uh, naval warfare. And, you know, that went on for years and years. But, you know, thankfully now Spain has actually, it welcomes its Jewish um, exiles back. Um, Hopefully they'll do the same with uh, Muslims, but you know, Muslims and Jews are making their presence felt. In fact, opposite the Alhambra in the Albayasin, I'm not pronouncing that correctly, I know, there's a lovely uh, new mosque and um, hopefully people will live together in peace as God intended. Okay, thank you for watching my video and I hope the next one will be on a happier theme. Thank you.